The agriculture sector has been recording heavy losses since the passage of Hurricane Beryl. However, with assistance pouring in, Agriculture Minister Floyd Green is confident farmers will soon recover. Trisha Gay Kelly explains. Millions lost in the agricultural sector. Over 48,000 farmers worried their stock will run dry soon. But help is on the way. Over $35 million already donated to the Ministry of Agriculture to aid post-burial operations in the sector, and more is coming. Hypro, as one of the country's main suppliers of everything agriculture, is assisting farmers island-wide with their recovery efforts. Vice President Colonel Jamie Ogilvie says the aim is to prevent inflation in the sector. We don't want to see it post on social media of one tomato in the supermarket will cost sixteen hundred dollars. That is what is coming if the sector doesn't get the help it requires. So let us support our farmers who have proven time and time again their resilience, their initiative. They just need a staff, and that's what Hyper is here to do. Farmers have received chicks fertilizers and chemicals they need to nurture their produce. The ministry is welcoming this assistance, especially in hard-hit areas, as Agriculture Minister Floyd Green explains. Clearly we've had a lot of blows in the agriculture sector over the years, but one of the hard parts of this hurricane is that it has hit us, hit us hardest in our most productive areas. Between Clarendon, St. Elizabeth and Manchester, they account for over 50%, in fact about 60%, Mr. Price, of our total production. Poultry farmers were most impacted, with many single-parent families, mostly women, depending on this livelihood for the back-to-school season. Over 140,000 chicks have already been replaced following the hurricane. The ministry is still evaluating the estimated damage done to crops island-wide, with farmers still salvaging what they can. So we're not about $6.5 billion, loss, and that is the loss to the sector. But rebuilding the sector would normally take about one and a half times the cost of the loss. So we're looking at close to $10 billion that it will take to get us back to where we were before Hurricane Barry. The ministry has already donated over 700 million to the recovery process, but complete restoration will not occur overnight. The minister is calling for all the assistance they can get, while also pleading with the finance ministry to assist with generators, especially for poultry farmers. Trisha Gay Kelly, CVM News.